Hey there guys, Neil here with another screencast. So for this particular review, I actually wanted to do um, an Android quick tip where I show how you can get a feature of the BlackBerry Priv on any other Android device. So um, essentially what the BlackBerry, or a feature that the BlackBerry Priv introduces is the ability to load an app's widget just by swiping on the icon. So uh, for the sake of an example, in this case on the device I'm using is the Amazon Fire Phone that you see here running Android 4.4.4. I'm running CyanogenMod. Um, the only real requirement here is that you have an Android device where you can install a custom launcher. So if you own a device that's not a BlackBerry Priv, you can get that same kind of functionality. So in this particular case, I will be using Action Launcher 3, but the same feature is also available in Action Launcher 2 or version 2. So if you have an older device, then um, that is how you can get it on older devices as well. Um, so for, after you install it, I believe it's um, enabled by default, but um, if it's not, what you'll do is you'll go into your settings. Under desktop, you'll scroll down until you see shutters and you'll enable it um, and basically that is all you have to do so when you go to an app that has a widget when you create that home screen shortcut so in this case I'm gonna, let's say I do a, a whatsapp um, you'll see these three little um, bars next to it or, or, on, or two little bars on the bottom right of the icon so when I swipe on it I will get my whatsapp widget that shows any unread messages so anytime if I don't want to swipe up or down on the on my notification drawer or if I have a bunch of different new messages from different contacts then basically that is what the they'll show up in this case the whatsapp widget so mm -hmm. I know the I think the example that I saw for the blackberry priv was if you create the app shortcut for your default as or for the stock sms app it does the same thing that'll show you all your unread messages so rather than having to rely on what just what your notification drawer shows you you can see all pending notifications the beauty of what Action Launcher provides though is that not only can you will you get that widget, but you can change to other widgets for that app, or you can change to um, a widget for a different app. So in this case, I'll start with, uh, I'll just say, let's say for WhatsApp, I don't, I don't, I like that app shortcut, but I want to have my weather widget instead. So I can do change widget and all any apps that have widgets available or if you have widgets themselves you can scroll up or down and you'll see all the different available widgets so in this case let's say I want to have a 4x1 HD widget um, I can select whatever I want so let's say I want my weather in there and I'll just hit the checkbox so now it shows mm -hmm. up so now when I swipe on whatsapp I can get my weather um, I don't know why someone would do that but it all depends on whatever you want to put you can mix and match accordingly the uh, shutter or in the case of action launcher it's called a shutter so it fits up to a four by four widget so if you have a, select a smaller widget you'll see the gray box around it like you see here um, and then you'll select up to a four by four widget or other bigger widgets may resize but just something to keep in mind there um, and then you can change it as much as you want and let's say you don't want a, a widget itself um, then you can uh, remove the shutter and um, you're done and then long pressing on the icon will let you recreate the shutter as well. Um, the other beauty is uh, so in the case of what you see here at the bottom of middle of my screen I have Hangouts and WhatsApp so in this case you can rename um, your shutter so it's essentially like renaming a folder so you can call it whatever you want so if you need a reminder of what or if you need a reminder in case you use a different widget than what your app sh icon shortcut is then you can rename it to whatever you want. So I have the first, um, the I have my app name first, and then the widget name after that. So I know mm -hmm. that hidden behind um, Hangouts is WhatsApp. In the case of Pod Pocket Cast on the bottom right, I have Podcast and then Weather. So I know I have a Weather widget. And then in the case of Feedly, I have my um, Zooper widget for my different um, battery or system stats. Mm -hmm. So I know that that's what's hidden behind there. Um, so that's really all there is for that. Um, it's a pretty straightforward um, feature of Action Launcher, but if you don't own a BlackBerry Priv or you will kind of want to get used to that, then that is something that's available. Um, just note that not all apps have widgets, so something to keep in mind, but it's basically one of those things that even BlackBerry in the marketing as far as I can, 
if I remember reading it right or if I did read it right, um, is to help declutter your home screen. So in my case, I have a nice uh, wallpaper that I want to see more of, but I also want to have my widgets, most notably weather and my system stats. So hiding them in the app icons, I get to them quickly and then I'm um, going hitting the back button, I get out of it and that's all there is to it. So install Action Launcher 2 or 3 from the Google Play Store. Um, I believe version 2 is buy only if memory serves. Um, Action Launcher version 3 is um, uh, free buy and donate. There's three those three levels there, so definitely worth checking out. But um, if you want to give it a shot, definitely do so. Um, and that's all there really is to it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, something's a little bit confusing, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that is all for this particular quick tip uh, screencast. Thanks for listening and watching and until next time.